So, I'm pretty sure you guys are curious. Okay, Steve, what the hell did you do? Hmm. What is up guys, Steve from Warrior Planet Tanks. Happy New Year. So, it's already like the middle of January. I'm just cleaning the house, looking around, trying to find stuff to do, really and truly, but as you guys can see from the title, I'm not happy right now. So, I escaped the tank, um, I don't know, like around November-ish, no, October-ish, and it was really just an anger management tank. I had a pretty gnarly day at work. And um, I came home to do what I usually do, which is play with fish tanks. I had a fish tank. I had the organized chaos competition tank set up. And I got tired of it. I had pulled the CO2 off of that thing a long time ago. So I salvaged some of the plants that I could and threw them outside so I could regenerate them, regrow them. And I completely gutted that tank. It's a five gallon uh, Suval Spec 5. Completely gutted it and was like, hey, I'm gonna slap something up real quick. I'm bored, I ain't got nothing to do. I had some hardscape laying around. I got tons of substrate, got tons of plants. I was like, I I I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play. So that's what I did. I filmed a little bit of it on Instagram uh, when I was doing it. I put it on the uh, IGTV because I didn't know you could do that. So I thought that was cool. And I waited. When I got through laying the tank out, I looked at it and I was like, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It looked trash to me, like garbage, like hot, like a hot, hot mess. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna let it grow in. Stop being so anal, you know, stop being so professionalist, you know, just straight up professionalist, you know. And I was like, just let it grow. Let's see what it's gonna do. So that happened and it started to grow in. I really wasn't happy because I used uh, clippings of a certain type of plant, which I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute. And I really wasn't too satisfied with the way the clippings regrew, but then, you know, lo and behold, it started growing in. I was like, okay, it looks gnarly. It looks gnarly, but it's gonna grow in. I'm gonna trim it. I'm gonna take care of it. I'm gonna love on it. And I'm gonna sculpt it into what I want. And so there was no instant gratification there, but like at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I had to learn how to be patient with it. So I, I don't know, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I mean, me personally, I think it's an epic fail. Am I disappointed? A little bit, yeah. Am I worried about it? Not at all. So anyway, I'm gonna jump into this tank. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about right quick. Look at these, but first, look look at these dogs. Y'all look at these, look at these puppies. Look at this, it's ridiculous. Spoil. That's dog food waste, also known as sweet pea. And there's my old man. And I mean, they just, they got it better than most people do. It's ridiculous. But anyway, let's jump into this tank. You guys sit tight. I'm gonna move over to this tank. Let me get a camera flip. So, let me walk over here. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna break down into it. And I'm gonna explain, like, what happened. You know what I'm saying? So, here it is. Here's the old Spec 5. It used to be a competition tank. And it's an epic fail. Can't get the light right. There we go. Like, I'm not, I'm not cool. I'm not happy with this thing at all. Like, it just totally, ugh. It just pisses me off. I'm trying to do better. Like, I'm, I mean, it just, come on now. Come on now. We got to do better, people. I know I'm better. Come on now. So anyway, let's, let's, let's go into it, man. Y'all sit tight. This one, it's gonna be good. I don't even, I'm a time out. Okay, so here y'all have it, man. This is the anger management tank, also known as an epic fail. And it's only an epic fail because I say so. I mean, this tank is more than, it's, it's easy to 
re-salvage. I'm, I'm not concerned with that. The only reason I say it's an epic fail is because it don't look like my vision. Okay, so what, what do you do? You fix it. You, you, you know, you gotta learn how to, sometimes you gotta learn how to just start over again and fix it. You know, this one was done on a whim. It was, hey, you know, screw this. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna vibe out and uh, lay out a tank, lay out a scape, you know? So like, as you can see, you got Elio Karras minimum dwarf hair grass, right? I didn't expect the dwarf hair grass to do what it's doing. I have uh, three, three rocks, respectively, and um, going from size gradient, from largest to smallest, okay? Would I call it Iwagumi? Absolutely not. Was it, was some of the methodology kind of taken from Iwagumi? A little bit, you know? Um, I had um, Monte Carlo in there. I uh, also got some green wavy boots and some Anubius non petite it was going to be real simple all i wanted was a green carpet meadow with spikes of the elio Karis grass coming up whimsically in between the rock work well it it looked like trash i should have canned it when i started but i did it then it started growing in and it looked awesome and i got to instagram posting then i went to tampa yeah and this bad boy got neglected. Not to mention, I was using the whole Seachem regimen for my freaking, look at that, for my dosing. <laughs> really? So, as you can see, epic fail. Complete, epic fail. But it is what it is. I mean, some of the Elio Karras is doing what it's known to do. It's starting to make runners and grow all over the damn place. I should have thought about that before I decided to stick this stuff in here. And some of the Mycanthrum Monte Carlo is it's trying to grow. I mean, it's, try, it's doing something, you know? So, I'm pretty sure you guys are curious. Okay, Steve, what the hell did you hmm well let's see um yeah I went to Tampa hung out came back worked it was the holidays ate a bunch of food did some partying did a few videos but not too many did a couple live streams and I was just letting that tank settle in if you will I was doing the water changes Cause I was dosing and I'm, I mean, when I say dosing, I mean dosing. I'm throwing in nitrogen. I'm throwing in all the macros and all the micros plus some pre-mix stuff as well. Cause I really want to get this thing going because I'm trying to do it low tech. Cause I don't want to gas it. I don't want to gas it. I had a hot light on there. Uh, so basically a higher end wattage light on there. And I ended up taking that off. Long story short, I come home one day and the whole thing, the whole thing is infested with nasty hair algae. Okay, I manually remove it. I get it to where it's decent. No big deal. About a week goes by. You know, you got a, you're a week, so we're like well into getting ready. I mean, I party the whole month of December. I ain't even gonna lie, folks. And um, getting closer to around Christmas, I'm looking. No big deal. Boom, New Year's party for New Year's. Uh, a couple weeks ago this month, I look, it's like gnarly. Now mind you, there were no livestock in this tank, none. This is basically a fishless cycle. I'm, I'm, I wanna put some shrimp in there, I'm going to, and we'll get to why the fish that are in there are in there now. So, uh, hey, fishless cycle, I ain't gotta worry about killing nothing. Man, I pull out the peroxide and I go in. I go in like the National Guard, and I got rid of all the hair algae, but in the process of doing that, I also burnt the piss out of my my Cantrum Monte Carlo. And that is what we are looking at right here. So when I say I burnt it, I mean I burnt it. Like y'all can see, 
everything that is dead, everything that is brown, used to be green. So as you can see, the carpet was actually coming in quite, quite, quite nicely. And it was shaping up to, you know, have enough sustained growth to where I felt comfortable going in and giving it its first trim. It's kind of like when you have a kid and you go get them their first haircut. It's a it's a momentous occasion and I was looking forward to that, but I, I took that away from myself, you know? I mean, it is what it is. So now, this is why I call it an uh, epic fail because I did it. And yes, I'm on a videotape and I'm gonna put myself on blast. It is what it is, you live, you learn. Um, I know what caused the problem and I know how to fix it. It's just so sad that, you know, I gotta start all over. And when I say start all over, that means I'm gonna have to drain this thing considerably and manually remove all of this dead Monte Carlo so I don't get another hair algae bloom. So that's why I said this tank is an epic fail. But this is what it was supposed to look like. You can see the zebra stone there. Okay, this uh, is supposed to be significantly trimmed. You can see the zebra stone though, like I said. They even had some in the back starting to grow vertical instead of horizontal. And I'm just so bummed right now that I killed it. I killed it, y'all. I straight up killed it, look. So, there is the rescue better. And didn't I tell y'all I was gonna fix it? Didn't I tell y'all I was gonna fix him? I don't know what he is doing. Some kind of crazy headstand. But uh, he was in like way worse shape when I got him. And um, I don't know, two months in the in the in uh, in one of my black water tanks and he's back on the mend. These are some of the uh, green laser platy fry that Jess was cool enough to give me. These were her personal fish. It was just like a homie hookup. And I threw a couple of the cooler ones in here just to let them grow out. It's only a five gallon, so it ain't a forever home, but they were dope. I like looking at them. I haven't had platies in my house since I was in like teens. I don't know. You know what? That's not true. In the low budget, no budget. I got a, I had a pair of platies in there that were uh, purchased for me by the ex. And you know, I like fish. Look at the little baby one there. But yeah, so that's one thing. Then I noticed something about this uh, Anubius Nana Petit. That's Anubius Nana Petit right there. So that's Anubius Nana. I don't know if it's just a stunted one or what, but Petit supposed to look like this, y'all. I think it's, uh, it's clusterings of about, I don't know two or three different uh, clusters. And it's kind of mad at me, you know, if I get the lighting right. But yeah, so that's a rundown on this one. I didn't even wipe the glass, just to accentuate how pissed off I've been. I've been neglecting this tank, how poorly I've been treating this thing. It's gonna look cool, and y'all know me, I like to flex. So as soon as it, <laughs> as soon as it looks cool, I'm gonna fix it, hopefully. So that's where we're at on that one for now. I mean, and just since we're on the topic of neglecting tanks, I mean, I didn't didn't just neglect that one. I mean, I, I'm serious. I've partied for like a month and a half, and it's totally fine. Sometimes when you neglect stuff, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it is what it is. It, I can fix it, so it's really no big of a deal, but hey, y'all check out this jungle valve, man. Like seriously, look at that, bro. So there's like two, no, there's three kinds of valve in here. I got red jungle, leopard, and green, and it has completely taken over my whole tank, completely, and mm, I need to do a water change and a top off, look. So like, 
I'm not embarrassed and or ashamed to show you guys like what most people's fish tanks really look like because the average person forgets that this is a video and you can put whatever you want on a video. I'm just not full of shit. So anyway, um, yeah, it's cool. I did notice that I was battling with that stupid, uh, what is that? The Blackbeard algae? And I don't know what I did. Maybe neglecting it, it's, it's like gone. I don't see any of it, like none. So, you know, jinx, no jinx. Hopefully that's a good thing. The sword's in there, good and healthy. That sword's in there, good and healthy. It's beautiful actually, you know, and eh, man, this stuff's no worse for word. You know, it is what it is, but I know a lot of people have been like, hey man, Steve, where you been, where you at? Hey. I'm a single dad, active duty, military, and I got a whole bunch of other irons in the fire. When I can get around to videotaping something to share with you guys, I will absolutely do it to always keep you guys posted as usual. However, I'm just gonna be frank and honest. I mean, plants grow slow and there's really just not a whole lot that you can videotape about fish tanks. Um, I mean, unless you're going buying out pet stores and doing all that other shit these people are doing on their channels to where it, where it warrants you posting a video every day. I mean, when we were doing the Pantanal project, I even kind of felt like I overdid that one, but uh, it's neglected too. The filter's off. Uh, the Tiger Lotus took off. Here, I'll show you guys that real quick. And then I'm gonna jump off here. Hold on, give me a second. Let me, let me pre-stage it for my video lives. Not, I could care less. Boo! So check that out. Tiger Lotus is taking off. And boy, this thing needs a top off, but it's a simulation, so it's what these Angels look good. Everybody's cool. Living good, feeling good, you know. Um Yeah, after we finish posting this footage, guess what? It's Sunday fun day, y'all. I'm doing tank maintenance. <laughs> but I kinda just you know, hey, look. Everybody loves their tanks, but just like with everything, you know, we, we have life. We get to it when we can, you know, and I'm kind of glad that I have enough stuff going on in my life that is healthy and nourishing and all those other words, you know, to where sometimes my tanks get neglected because if my tanks are pristine, that means I'm not doing nothing but sitting at home, baby, in my tanks. And y'all, that ain't living. Hey, I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying, hey man, people get busy sometimes. So, I'm gonna love on these babies with that. Uh, once again, wish you guys a happy new year. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe. Hey, share my stuff out. You know, if you think it, if you think it warrants being shared, okay? Uh, also, check me out on Instagram, Warrior Planet Tanks, I'm the only one. Check me out on Facebook, Warrior Planet Tanks, I'm the only one as well. Thank you guys for watching. It is Sunday, January the 26th, 2020. Can you believe it, guys? Hey, this is Steve from Warrior Planet Tanks. Thanks for watching. Keep tanking. I'm out. <laughs>